I'm getting ready to make Brussels sprouts. And here I'm cleaning them and cutting them. So I'm going to do the same thing to all. So I've gone ahead and cut and clean my Brussels sprouts. Now, Brussels sprouts is a vegetable that is it's not a likable vegetable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it up. I'm going to add some carrots strips that I had. I'm going to add that in there. And then when it's cooking, I'm going to add some green pepper. I'm going to add some green onions. I'm going to have some, um, I love white onion, the flavor of white onion in dishes like this. And then I'm going to drop some ginger. Yes, my famous ingredients, ginger. Before Brussels sprouts is not a common vegetable. And it's sometimes, you know, have a little taste to it. So I seasoned it with my onions, as I said, my bell peppers and my ginger to really make it really nice and flavorful. So I have a pan here, a saucepan here, nice and hot. I'm going to drop some butter in. I'm going to also put it less than a half of a teaspoon of oil because I don't want in my previous video I told you for me when I mix my butter with oil or olive oil it doesn't burn so I need this and while it's finished heating up I'm just gonna pour my Brussels sprout my carrots in Because the carrot has a sweet taste, and what that will do is flavor the Brussels sprout. So it doesn't have that taste that sometimes we don't like. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that saute. While it's sauteing, I'm going to go ahead and add some seasoning. I'm going to add my butter seasoning butter and garlic i love it of my food to be flavorful versus hot i don't like peppery food and that seasoning really works for me so i'm just gonna let them continue to enjoy themselves together for a minute so she's almost done to where i can add all my fresh seasoning so I have all that seasoning going in there mix it around just let them enjoy themselves and get to know each other and then the Brussels sprouts she will just enjoy their company and take their flavors So she's doing really, really good. So I'm going to add some vegetable broth. And again, I love flavors. So the vegetable broth will cut that little, you know, that little taste that we don't like in the Brussels sprout. It will cut that again and just take on the flavors and just give it a nice taste. So while that is happening, I'm going to cover her for her to simmer. So we're going to open her. And she is looking good. She's almost done. And let me give you another tip, guys. When you're cooking green leafy vegetables don't cover your pot for long periods of time because it makes it look brown when you leave it open it comes out with that nice bright green flavor there she goes everybody has become friends 
and they're ready. But when I'm finished cooking vegetables, I love to put a little bit of cracked pepper. This time I'm using black pepper. Just a little cracked pepper over it. So my vegetables are done. And I'm going to make a simple protein dish. So I'm going to make sardines. Because I am on a high protein high fiber because of my diabetes and my numbers are running a little high this month so I'm intentional about preparing meals to assist me along with exercising to get my A1C done because I, I've been really eating I've, I've, I've been eating bad lately so I've decided to go back to, to eating nutritiously. And this is a simple tea, but it is so healthy and filled with everything I need along this journey. I'm going to put a little smoked paprika on it. And I'm going to use my zesty Italian seasoning. I love my zesty Italian seasoning. Just kick it up a notch. Black pepper. And I tell her she was simple. She's almost ready to go. And now I made some homemade hot sauce. I don't like things that are hot to the point that I cannot eat it, but this hot sauce is so delicious and that's just going to make it right. So here she goes. Look at that. That's my simple sardines. Has some onions in there. I have some sun-dried tomatoes. So, and while I was doing my sardines and my Brussels squash going, steaming in some butter. Look at that. Look at the colors. And this is what a diabetic plate should look like.